Jacques Callis, who has been a mainstay of South African cricket since making his test to debut in 1995, will continue to play club cricket despite calling it a day in all forms of the international game. Callis retired from the test side in December 2013 and has now added the one day and 2020 cricket versions to that list. Back in July 2013, Callis said he was still eyeing World Cup glory. Yeah, I've taken a break now. Uh, they've, you know, obviously want me to try and go through to that next World Cup, uh, which is a goal of mine. Uh, so it's getting the right balance and, uh, you know, with regard to rest and, and playing is, is going to be important for me going forward. And, you know, World Cup, um, you know, is, is really high on the list for me. It's, it's one thing missing from my career to be part of a, a team that's lifted the World Cup. And, you know, hopefully I can uh, make it to that 2015 and um, end, up, end up, you know, holding a trophy aloft would, would be a great sort of end to my career. Yeah. But the 38-year-old now believes the World Cup dream is out of reach. His decision comes in the wake of a disappointing ODI series in Sri Lanka, where he registered scores of 0, 1 and 4 and did not bow. There's never a good time to leave. There's never a wrong time to leave. Uh, but I think Jacques knew. And uh, as he said in his statement that he felt in Sri Lanka at the time was uh, upon him to move on. Uh, and I think it's a brave decision. Uh, he, he really wanted to play in the World Cup. Uh, he was committed. Uh, he had done everything uh, that we had asked of him. Uh, but I think the body at the age that he's arrived at uh, will tell you the story. I mean, I think if you've been playing for a long time, you know, you, you have the ups and the downs. And, um, you know, obviously it gave him a chance to have perspective. I know he struggled with his body a fair amount. And, you know, I think uh, realised that maybe the World Cup's a bridge too far for him. Um, uh, but I think you know that was always the, the good thing about him. He was he was honest, and uh, he, I think that honesty shone through in the end. Kalis finished his ODI career with 11,579 runs in 328 matches with 13 centuries. He scored 13,289 runs in 166 matches with 45 centuries in Test cricket. There's no doubt he was a pillar in the in the Proteus team. Uh, he was a phenomenal player, uh, his records speak for himself, he's the only player who scored 11,000 plus runs in both Test and ODI cricket, so he leaves a big void. Uh, but we're very fortunate in that uh, the team has grown beyond that. Uh, we've seen the performances recently in, in Sri Lanka, uh, so we're fortunate to be blessed with such uh, fantastic players. Kalis will continue to play 2020 matches for the Kolkata Knight Riders in the Indian Premier League and for the Sydney Thunder in the Big Bash League. Celestine Caronet, CCTV.